This is part two because I totally forgot that if I try to type when I'm in the video, like to fill out a text box, um, it automatically goes to this drawing tool and uh, I can't record any further. So um, I'm just going to show you how I saved it to my desktop. And now I'm going to open it up. And it opens up in Acrobat. And so now I can copy this information, hopefully. Maybe not. Oh dear. Okay, and then Command C or Control C. Minimize that. And then I can go to Grammarly. Um, I've created an account. I actually have the professional version, but you guys will be able to do the same things that I can do. Click on new and then paste. Okay, so now I can see what kind of score I would have received and notice it's not very high. My expectations are not as extreme as Grammarly's. Um, I like to see right around a 70. If you go higher than that, then you are um, exceptional at writing. Um, but I'm also going to check on the plagiarism tab and make sure that your work is 100% original. If it shows me some flags, you know, and it's like 10% um, or more plagiarism, then you're, I'm going to ask you to rewrite it. So um, let's make sure that we're, you know, not messing around with copying, pasting anything. Uh, when you read a sentence uh, that you're interested in from the text, just say it in a way that's if you were talking to your friend and explaining to them whatever it is that you're reading. Okay, so to me, that avoids plagiarism. And then if you want to touch it up grammar-wise, you know, that's also wise. We don't want to, um, we want to be like a teacher when we're talking to our friends rather than um, using things like slang or, you know, we've got to have college level writing. So that's very important in this course. Okay, um, let's look back. I, that's all that I can think of. So then once you've got, remember to, to create your, um, your questions and answers in a Word document or some other program where you can um, have that written down in a safe place so you're not like in here and you're writing and then everything disappears because you took too long. So that's terrible. Another tip that I was just uh, mentioning to another student is I'll type, you know, like blah, 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 blah. Uh oh, I just did it again. I've typed. Um, and then I will copy and paste what I've written. And then when I hit submit, <laughs> see, I can't type. So when I hit submit, if it disappears, then I can just, you know, paste into the next window. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, it will, you'll get, you're going to get better and better at this and, uh, um, you'll find you'll really enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. Another thing that we are expected to do when we are writing each week is responding to our peers. And there's um, very specific instructions for this. So not only are you going to respond to something they said, like say, um, oh, I really thought that part was amazing too, or I didn't even notice that about this chapter. Um, I, I found that your point was really interesting. And then you're going to ask them a question that you have about their response. So you've got to be personal in your responses, and you also have to ask a question. If you don't do that, then the assignment is not complete and you will lose points. So I know this is a lot going on up front and that's why I wanted to create a video about it so that you feel confident 
and you can do your very best. My visual learners. Okay, so we can check that off of our list now. Our unit two list. This is a student example. This is our quizzes. There's our checklist. So if you printed that out, you can check off this, you can check off this, you can check off your quizzes, and then optionally, um, say some artwork or some artist or some time period as you're going along the way has been just really caught your attention. Make a note of it. Make a note of it and keep your notes on your desktop, you know, like in a Word document or something like that, or in your notes on your phone that you love this. And then you can revisit that when it's time to write a paper. And this is so smart, such a smart way of doing things. So, you know, when you're writing up your summary of each week, you'll have those notes. And when you're writing your papers at midterm and final, and they will come up like lightning speed, I promise. Um, you will have ideas already that you can, um, you know, expand upon. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And uh, good luck this week. Let me know if you need any help. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.